In order to complete your Cloudflare setup, you'll need to update your current name server records to utilize Cloudflare's name servers. The first step is to make note of the Cloudflare name servers provided for your domain. Each domain has unique name servers, so this video doesn't reflect your specific name server records. To find out what your name server records are, log in, and under the overview section, you'll see them listed. Next, you need to determine your domain registrar. This is generally the company that you purchased your domain name through. If you're not sure who your domain registrar is, this information can be publicly found on a website like whois.net. Simply type in your domain, and in the results, you'll see the registrar listed. Next, you're going to want to log into your domain and find the name server settings. Each registrar is slightly different. So you'll want to utilize the help resources specific to your registrar for the most current and accurate information. Once you've found your name server settings, you'll want to update them to reflect the Cloudflare provided name server records. Once you've updated your name server records, Log back into your dashboard account and confirm your updates. It may take up to 24 hours for your updates to propagate, so if you don't see the changes right away, give it a bit more time. Once verified, check the DNS section to make sure that there's an orange cloud next to your domain. This ensures that all your website traffic is running through Cloudflare. If you have any problems, here are a few key points to consider. Although Cloudflare creates copies of your website on our distributed global network, Cloudflare is not web hosting. Your website should be hosted prior to getting set up on Cloudflare. If you require more advanced setup, CNAME setups are available through select plans. Please contact support for more information.